Caitlin here from the Joymaker team, and today we're going to be building a smart proposal together. Now, you may be wondering, what is the difference between a smart proposal and an itinerary? And that's a great question. The main difference between a smart proposal and itinerary comes down to purpose and timing. A smart proposal is used when you're still in the planning and approval phase. It lets you present trip options to your client, gather their feedback, and get their buy-in. Once they approve it, that proposal is converted directly into an itinerary. On the other hand, if you already know exactly what the client wants and don't need their input on options, you can skip straight to creating an itinerary. That becomes the finalized official plan for their trip, their source of truth moving forward. Now, as mentioned, we're going to be creating a smart proposal just like the one you see here today, and I'm excited to jump in and get started. You can create your smart proposal by starting off on your client's trip. From here, navigate to the blue Create button at the top right and select Smart Proposal from the options that appear. This is your Smart Proposal editing screen. What we're looking at over here on the right-hand side is our Settings tab, which you can always get back to by using the Settings button at the top right of the proposal title. We can add a title such as Your Desert Getaway. Add a proposal intro, which will get your clients excited for their trip. Change the look of your signature, so if you're not vibing with the cursive, you can choose a different font if you'd like. Change the cover photo or the photo that displays here if you'd like it to differ from your trip photo. Choose the confirmation template or thank you message that appears when your client approves their proposal. And finally, choose the confirmation email to be triggered when your client approves their proposal using your email templates. The Pricing tab can be found just to the right of the Overview tab underneath your settings. From here, you'll be able to determine how your pricing is viewed by your client. Whether you'd like to set the price as a fixed total or the sum of items on the proposal. Whether or not your client sees one package price or itemized pricing throughout the proposal. And after client approves their SMART proposal, you'll be able to hide the pricing from view or show them. Down below, you'll be able to determine whether or not you'd like to keep payments off or accept payments by credit card authorization or supplier payment, or by direct payment charged directly through TravelJoy. If you choose to accept a credit card authorization or supplier payment, you will be able to select the terms and conditions that your clients agree to upon authorization and offer FAE travel insurance right through the SMART proposal. This means your clients will be able to opt into insurance and add it to their SMART proposal upon authorizing. Underneath direct payment, you'll be able to choose the terms and conditions that your clients will be agreeing to upon payment, and choose to charge your client a convenience fee to cover those processing fees. To start building out your SMART proposal, you may want to use sections. Sections can be used to create breaks within the SMART proposal for dates, categories, however you'd like to use them. To add a section, locate the Add Section button just to the bottom of that proposal title and intro. And we'll create three sections here for each day. I'm going to click into each section, change the date, and give it a title. This is completely up to you how you would like to use these sections again. We'll do another one for the date. We'll say 31st, fun day. And the last section will be our departure date of June 1st. Awesome. So now that we've created these sections, we can start building the smart proposal around those dates. You can add items using the add item button here, which we'll go over in just a few moments, or you can even add items directly to that section by using the blue plus sign in the circle to the right of each section. A very handy tool that I want to point out before we get into building more of the smart proposal is the magic importer tool. You can find it down here at the bottom of the proposal. The Magic Importer tool allows you to bring in itineraries and invoices from your supplier to import details for flights, hotels, cruises, and activities. I just so happen to have a PDF for my flights for this trip, so I'm going to drag and drop that itinerary into the box for the Magic Importer. It's going to take those details and search our database for those two flights. And if it's able to locate them, it'll bring them in to the Smart Proposal and allow me to move them around. So these are our two flights. If we click into them, 
We're going to see their details over here on the right. If we need to make any changes, we're welcome to do so. We can even choose to keep on live flight tracking and choose to send our primary traveler notifications when the flight is delayed or canceled. To move things around on the smart proposal, you can just drag and drop them wherever they need to go. So this flight will be our arrival date and this flight will stay down here underneath our departure. As mentioned, when creating sections, you have two different ways of adding items to your SMART proposal. You can do so using the Add Item button at the top of the screen here, or from the blue plus side just to the right of the section you'd like that item to go in. We have lots of different item types to choose from, and for an example today, I'll be using Activity. On the right-hand side, I can edit that activity, and I can say something like Farmer's Market. We can put the location, any other further details we need to share with Jane. And even add an item description. You can add a YouTube video to this description if you'd like to make things a little bit more fun. You can add photos to this item by using the Button here or you can drag photos over. Now I'm doing this from my computer so you won't see the actual input process. But here's a photo that I'm going to bring in. You can even add documents such as ticket PDFs to the item itself by uploading those documents here. Now that we've created our item, we can go ahead and save that item for future use using our library. Your library is available to you across your account in every itinerary in Smart Proposal by using the blue library button as you see here. To save an item to your library for future use, head up to the Add to Library link at the top of that item when editing, and you'll get a success banner in the bottom left. If you refresh the page in any way, and click that library button, You'll see the item that you've added, as well as other items that you've added in the past to your library. You can also search for full proposals if you'd like to easily duplicate a proposal for a new client. If you ever need to access your library items from your dashboard, you can do so by heading to Templates and Library to view the items you've saved and add new ones at the top right. TravelJoy Smart Proposals also offer the ability to offer options to your clients to choose from directly on the Smart Proposal. To add an option to your Smart Proposal, head to the Add Options button, and it's going to add a new section to the bottom of the Smart Proposal. Don't worry, you can move this around wherever you need it to go, so we'll go ahead and drag and drop it underneath our arrival date because we're going to be offering some hotel options to our clients for this example. Now you can add multiple items to each option. So if you have multiple destinations for your clients to choose from, that's a great way of doing so. But you can also just offer one item in each option as well, which is what we'll be doing today. If you need more than two options for your clients to choose from, there's an add option button down here. And we can add items to each option by using the plus sign here. And we'll say something like hotels. And the fun thing about hotels, you actually can search for the property name and bring in any details if applicable for that hotel. So in this case, my first one is the Thompson Hotel in Palm Springs. So we'll go ahead and find that there. There it is. It's going to bring in any details that we may have, including photos, again, if applicable. And that is our first option here. I'm going to add my second hotel option by using that add sign just to the right in that option number two. We're going to select lodging once more and search for our second hotel, which is the Hyatt Palm Springs. There we have it. It's going to bring in any of those details that we have available to us. And if I wanted to make the option section a little bit more catered towards this set of options, we can say hotels to choose from in the section title. And now our clients are gonna be able to view these hotels and choose which one appeals to them most when they are looking at their SMART proposal and before they approve it. Find and offer bookable items such as hotels, activities, and transfers using the Explore Bookable Items button. You can search for hotels, activities, and transfers using these buttons above. 
and you can browse or search for activities, transfers, or hotels in your client's destination. Once you find one you're interested in, such as the aerial tramway, you can click on it to view more details, including cancellation policy at the bottom here. And if this is something you'd like to offer your clients to book directly through their smart proposal, you can use the add to proposal button at the top right of the screen. It'll add to the proposal on the right hand side where you can drag and drop the item wherever you need it. So we'll put it right underneath our farmer's market here. And you'll know this is a bookable item by the little sparkles at the top right of that icon. Once your client books this item through their smart proposal, you'll earn a commission. If we head back to our proposal using the back to proposal button, we can navigate down to that item, click on it, and make any changes that we need to on the right hand side. If you'd like to adjust the amount of markup you'll receive on top of your commission, you can do so using the slider here. And again, once your client books, you'll be able to receive all of the details that you need for that item, and you will receive your commission usually within a week of travel. Okay, we've created our smart proposal, and now we're ready to send to our client. To do so, head to the top right hand side of the screen and select share proposal. From here, you'll use the send option and customize the email you'd like to accompany the smart proposal. You can do so by editing here or choose an email template from this drop down menu here. Once you're happy with your message, use the blue send button at the bottom right and send it away. I'll now show you what this looks like to our client. So this is our finished proposal. At the top right, your client can take it with them on the go using our itineraries by TravelJoy app. They can share the proposal, download it to their device, ask a question, which is going to take them right back to their trip must feed with you, and they'll be able to make their selections and approve their proposal up here at the top right in just a moment. We'll see our proposal intro here at the top, an overview of all the items on the smart proposal, and your client will be able to click on any of these items to get right down to a certain part if they'd like. View those items we added, including flights, our choice of hotel, so they'll be able to review which one works for them and select an option at the top right. View our farmer's market item, book our activity using that book now button, and then view our last flight. Now that your client has made their selection of hotel, so they'll have to choose any of the options that are available on the smart proposal before they can proceed, They'll be able to head up to the approved proposal button at the top right. And now everything's approved. This thank you message is completely customizable underneath your confirmations templates. And now you can get to work on booking your client's trip. Pro tip, want to create a beautiful cruise itinerary in under 60 seconds? Here's how. Navigate to the add item button and select cruise from the options that appear. Head on over to the right side and select the Search Cruises button. Type in your cruise operator or locate them on the drop down menu. The ship name and the departure date. Our system's going to locate that cruise and once it finds a match, it's going to give you the opportunity to select which information you'd like to show on the proposal or itinerary and which you would like to omit. You can choose the cabin type using this drop down menu here. Choose the ability to include dining options, entertainment options, kids and teens, health and fitness, even show an entire schedule of ports if you'd like. Once you're happy with your selections, use the add to proposal button at the bottom. And that proposal will be created automatically for you, including sections to break things up and get your clients excited for their upcoming trip.